Hey brothers and sisters, happy Thursday. Welcome back to another session of Daily Bread. Today's Daily Bread is titled, A Heart to Serve. And I'm going to read to you from Romans chapter 12 verses 1 through 8. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Amen. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. You see, to live a holy life is to exemplify God's perfect will. For I say, through the grace given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to, but to think soberly as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. God has given us all faith, and it's a certain amount. Your faith may not be as great as mine, might not, mine might not be as great as yours. Remember that. For as we have many members in one body, and let me explain that, we have many members, we have eyes, ears, nose, mouth, hands, fingers, toes, legs, what have you. We have many members in one body. But all members do not have the same function, so we, being many, are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, let us use them. If prophecy, let us prophesy in portion to our faith. Or ministry, let us use it in ministering. He who teaches, in teaching. He who exhorts, in exhortation. He who gives, with liberality. He who leads, with diligence. He who shows mercy, with cheerfulness. Amen to all of those gifts. Do you have any of those gifts? Do you have the gift of prophecy according to the measure of faith that you've been given by God? Are you a teacher? Are you one who gives? And when you give, do you give liberally or do you give with hesitation? And when you show mercy, are you happy to forgive? Are you cheerful about it? Some things to think about. So let me explain something here. Paul tells us in Romans chapter 12 verse 4 that our bodies are made up of many members. Again, as I mentioned, we have a nose, a mouth, eyes, ears, hands, feet, and each member has a certain function. So is it with the body of Christ, and what do I mean when I say the body of Christ? Those of us who are in Christ Jesus are members of his body. We all have different functions, we've all been given different gifts. So let us use those gifts to bless others. And that, right there, my friends, will exemplify the perfect will of God. So long as we're living holy lives and we're using our gifts and talents that the Lord has blessed us with for His perfect will, then we're doing exactly what He has called us to do. So if you have the gift of teaching, teach God's Word. If you have the gift of giving, give liberally to your brothers and sisters without hesitation. And if you have the gift of forgiveness, forgive graciously and do not harbor any anger or malice toward your brother or sister who you're forgiving. I pray that this message has touched your heart today. And I pray that you use your gifts that the Lord has given to you for God's glory and his kingdom. May the Lord bless you, keep you, shine his face upon you, and give you peace. In Jesus' name.